this. It might be that I'm headed up to Ventura to go to the Ventura Nationals. Now, if you've never heard of the Ventura Nationals, you're in for a treat because this is a show that happens once a year. We're talking rat rods, bombs, low riders, and so many other cool things that your booty's going to have a twerk attack. Can you visualize that? I'm going to be meeting up with Wes Nielsen of the Daily Driver Project, and we're going to be doing this show big time. Wes, and he's behind bars, no less. That rhyme, that was get, interesting. Get used to it, buddy. We're here at the Ventura Nationals because of this guy. That's me. And actually because of the Ventura Nationals. Yeah, because it's an awesome show. The gracious people uh, invited us, gave us free tickets, and we're here to have a blast. Oh yeah, exactly. Good show. There's so much to see, but a priority right now, find the bathrooms. That's where we're going. Uh, this is Aaron. We're at the uh, the Ventura Nationals. Uh, this show is, is spectacular. Yeah, no, they I mean, put on an amazing event here. The, the cars here, just when you walk in the door, kind of blow your mind. But you have something special going on here. You're doing a big giveaway. I'm a founder of Los Angeles Children's Project, an after-school program where every year these kids in my class, they uh, restore a classic vehicle from uh, Model A Roadster to this year is a 1958 Chevy Apache pickup. And throughout the year, these kids are working on it, doing the body work, metal work, and we sell raffle tickets throughout the year. Wow. And the money raised uh, goes back to keep the program alive. There's a program that started in 2014 as a way to combat uh, child homelessness. What and an honorable thing. That's an amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're just trying to, trying to do something positive. There's just a lot of maybe there's a lot of negativity out there in the world, or maybe it's, it's just trying to inspire people to uh, maybe take a look at what, what what they got going on and how they can help to the bigger picture. Yeah. You're doing a giveaway here today. So how does that work for the giveaway? Uh, so it's twenty dollars raffle tickets. We sell them online and here. Our online our online's already shut down. Okay. And uh, today last. Uh, last chance till about 3, 3.30 today. You can come down to yes, the show in Ventura Nationals and uh, get a ticket. We got a 20 bucks a piece or today we're at 6 for 100. Fantastic. And fantastic. we do the drawing about 4 o'clock up on the main stage and uh, and we'll see. Awesome. See. Thank you. Thank Eric. you so very much. Very cool. Very it. cool. Very exciting. What's up guys? What's up? Here's my 20. Yay! Winner, winner, veggie chicken dinner. <laughs> right here, buddy. A significant life, just what it was needed. Clear in the blackest night, cloistered in injustice. Tim Sutton from Hop Up Magazine. Walking around, mind our own business as we normally do in shows like this, and we run into Tim who has not only a cool car, but a great magazine. <laughs> he agrees wholeheartedly. Uh, this is a 61 Brookwood wagon. Uh, it's actually my wife's car. My car's at home. Uh, Your wife lets you put the car at the show? 
It's killing. No, she. Well, the did kids, she even know? The kids are coming, and it's a good playground <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay. So when she got pregnant, I always said, if you ever get pregnant, I'm gonna build you a wagon. And the second kid came around, and she was like, okay, where's my, where's my car? <laughs> So I found it, and I bought it from another buddy up in Spokane, Washington. His dad used to take this car from uh, Spokane, Washington to Indy towing the race car. Wow. Uh, Good history. From, from 61 to about the mid-70s. Within that time... So the car was actually bought to do that? Yeah. Yeah. It's a really weird car because it's a it was a 348 car, tri-power, posi, factory delete everything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it was like the Hoosier Daddy engine made for towing <laughs> with zero frills. Yeah. The magazine is Hoppa Magazine. It is a magazine that started in 1951, ran in 1953. It was the birth of Rod and Custom Magazine. Yeah. Oh, which, but you got a couple of partners with it? Yeah, I got a few okay. partners. Uh, my buddy Justin, John, and Marcy. Uh, we're spread out all, the, all over the U.S. If you want to get some, you can go to hopupmagazine.com or maybe even your local hot rod shop. Awesome. All all right. Around the world. Is that Harry's car? <laughs> it's very possible. It's a potter rod. <laughs> Can I call you Rafe? Yeah. My brother's name was Rafe. Oh, right, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll okay. call you Rafael. I'll, I'll call you whatever. Mm -hmm. The car behind this is, has looks like it has so much work yeah. involved. Um, it's hard for people, I think, to fathom the amount of work that goes into a, a vehicle like this. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about what the car is and what you went through to achieve this? Okay, it's a 65 Buick Riviera. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have the car since like almost 20 years ago. Uh, one of my friends, a club member from the car club, Rongers, uh, he's the one that they do the paint job. Okay. It took him like two years because he used to work in, in China. He back and forth and paint okay. a little bit and back and forth. You know, I would have believed you if you told me it took two years straight because it's that kind of paint job. Yeah. Uh, there's so much work involved. <laughs> exactly. Like this. Yeah. But why, why did you choose this? I can understand why you would choose this kind of car because the car is gorgeous. But why would you want to have a paint job like this? Ah, uh, because I like the Lowrider 70s, 70s style. Yeah. Old school. So that's a perfect, yeah. perfect paint. And you got a little bit of that going on here too. Oh yeah, I'm a tattoo artist. <laughs> yeah.
words for this one. Uh, you know what, that's not a color combination I would normally choose. And I, I wouldn't necessarily say that it would work, but on this car, not only does it work, it's freaking awesome. something different right up here. This hat was just given to me by Bo of BoMonster.com. He's an amazing artist. There are so many custom culture people here doing some amazing things, incredible things. everyone together and we try to create something here in Ventura where where it's not just going to a car show for the day but you're like yeah it, it turns into people's like vacation like a Friday night art show the Saturday car show Sunday our reliability run yeah. we work with a couple charities so everyone's kind of gives everyone more more meaning and purpose to a show yeah. compared to just going to sit in a field or a parking lot for the day and the artists and the guys that build the cars the guys that drive the, the art the art scene has grown so much oh yeah in this culture it's, it's extraordinary would you agree that that car culture at least the epitome of car culture goes from hunting to beast adventure oh easily yeah easily i mean in the drive from there to here makes it that much better. That's I mean, the whole reason. I take PCH, I live in Orange County, take PCH up to yeah. up to Ventura all the time. So it's a 31 Model A Coupe, put on 32 rails. It's a 44 front suspension, dropped axle, nine inch. It's got a 49 Caddy, 331 in it. I got dual carp set up. Let me personally thank you for having me at the yeah, show. Yeah, no, I'm glad really to have you here. It. It's, uh, it's phenomenal. It's, we're gonna make it a tradition. Yeah. Another 15 years, maybe. That's right, that's right. The award I won here last year. Oh, that's great. That way, 
when you're driving, give people a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yeah. This, this is the other half of Aaron, which is actually split in another two. Can I say that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Molly is pregnant and uh, very excited about how far along are you? Seven months. Wow. Yep. So the bun is almost ready. Uh, yeah, we're cooking a little butter ball. Heard from Aaron uh, what it takes to put on a show, but we need to know the truth. <laughs> You know, because you're really the person behind the scenes that is handling all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing to do with all the vendors and everything else. Right. It takes a year. Yeah, oh, together. definitely a year. We give ourselves maybe a couple weeks in between. And yeah. what's your favorite part about doing something like this? Um, it's definitely the people and like the family atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of these vendors at different shows. I see a lot of these people at different shows, a lot of cars at different shows throughout the year. And for everyone to come here and enjoy Doesn't it. Doesn't it feel like it's just a huge family getting together? It is, together? it yeah. is. It's almost like we're throwing a like a family reunion every yeah. year. Yeah. So for, for Ventura Nationals, where can people find out more information about the show? Uh, you can go to VenturaNationals.com. All our information is on there. Okay. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yes, we have stuff. Ventura underscore Nationals yeah. and on Facebook. It's just Facebook okay. page. Well, so. thank you so much for having us. Thank We're you. having a blast and I just don't want to go home. Well, you don't have to. All right. Good deal. <laughs>